So we should watch and be sober. Everything that happens around us, we should be sensitive. We should not be carefree. We should not neglect things that are happening around us. We should be very careful. We should watch and be sober so that the day will not meet us on our ways. Then I go further to the next verse in verse 7. It says, For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken, are drunken in the night. It says, But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith. What are the things to do? Understanding the timing, we need to put on faith. The breastplate of faith, that means not allowing any doubt, not allowing anything to shift our attention away from God. Putting on the breastplate of faith. Then it said, after that, and love for an ailment, the hope of salvation. Let us be guided about by faith, by love, and the hope of our salvation should be kept. Not just confessing Jesus as Lord and your Savior. Confess Him and faithfully abiding by His words and everything He teaches us to do. I go to the next verse, verse 9. It says, For God had not appointed us to rot, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. God has not created us for destruction. He did not create us that He might throw us into hell one day, but He has created us that we may obtain salvation. And this salvation he has made known to us. Apostle Paul says also when he was talking to the Hebrews, he said, how can we escape if we neglect such a great deal of salvation? That means what he has offered us, there is no other way of escape if we don't take his salvation. Verse 10 says, he said that appointed us uh, not unto wrath from the verse 9. Then he said in the verse 10, he said, who died for us? That whether we are awake or sleep, we should live together with him. That is, our life constantly should be for God. I was about to pause when he said, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. He said, the life that I live is not I, but Christ lives in me. Then also, if Father says that also in Romans 12, when he said we should present our bodies a living sacrifice, he said, only and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. Our life should be sold out to God in preparation and expectation of his coming. So said, wherefore, in verse 11, is that we should comfort ourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. This word are words of comfort to those who are faithfully expecting the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. These words are words of comfort to those Christians who are faithfully abiding. But it's a word of sorrow to anyone out there that has not yet received Jesus as his Lord and your Savior. This is another chance for you. You are hearing it today. Tomorrow you might not hear it anymore. We have to reconcile completely with God and give your life to Christ if you have never done that. And if you have done that, learn to be faithful and continue in the service of our Lord. I think for today, I will be stopping on this point. We are still talking about understanding the timing. Uh, I would like to pray with you, every one of you that have listened to me. I pray in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray for these ones that have watched this program and have listened to it, I pray the word that you have sown into their heart shall find a good ground to grow and germinate in the name of Jesus. It shall bear fruit, it shall yield fruit in multiple folds in Jesus' name. On that day when the road shall be called up yonder, none of these ones shall be missing out in Jesus' name. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. So thank you very much. We meet same time tomorrow and God bless you. For more inquiries, you can please contact us in our mobile or email. If you decide in request specifically in Harper, you can join us for our services as shown on the screen. Thank you and God bless you.